Hello everyone, and today we're gonna talk about extremely powerful software for processing your images. So we could say something similar as Lightroom, but better. So um, I'm talking about Capture One, uh, my favorite uh, software for processing the image. I use it all the time. Many other retouchers use it as well um, because it's simply very powerful. It gives you really nice colors, more punchy, more natural. It also gives you much more possibilities with um, to work with colors. It gives you really um, full control on selecting um, a specific area. It's not a commercial, but I recommend you, if you don't have Capture One, um, I recommend you to check out the free trial version they offer for one month and see if you like it or not. Uh, so we're gonna jump into this image um, straight away. Of course, I need to remind you if you're searching for something more professional, um, check the description. And uh, we have to start with the light. Every image you work with, you have to start with the light. So I'm jumping straight away to the fourth panel, um, exposure, um, which is all about the lights. And I'm taking down, um, actually bringing up highlights over here to 100. So to take down the highlights to make uh, the image look more crispy on the highlighted areas. Also, I'm going to flatten this a little, but I'm going to bring up some shadows um, to see more details everywhere. As we flatten this, also let's improve some contrast. This is my standard step when I want to quickly improve my images. Uh, next step, what I can see over here, I believe you can see as well, is I have some spots, some dirty lines or whatever it is. I really uh, messed up uh, this small camera because this image has, is actually from tiny Sony Alpha 5100 that cost maybe $300 I shoot in RAW. So I still can make this image look like it's professional photography. Um, so we're gonna to go to the panel that is called, what is it called? Just keep this small zoom icon. I can't get the name, okay, details. Um, so we have tool like spot removal, spot removal, and we can choose spot, which will be more for portraits and dust, um, which is something that exists, uh, we would call more of a dust over here. Um, it did not um, really work on this one. It's um, really solid. See if the spot did a little better job. I think um, not necessarily. Will the dust do? Well, it's um, not so strong, but let's accept that. I think really um, using dust in this, like using spots in my case, would be uh, better than the dust, the spots, whatever we can call it. Um, are that big that it's too easy to notice them. Um, after uh, we did this, uh, we have this weird um, icons where we cleaned. Uh, we're just going to local adjustment panel and jump straight into color editor. And we're gonna choose this picker. So how did we do here? We still have few spots here. Hope it won't be very visible. But what we want to do, we want to uh, work with color. So something I really uh, recommended to you before I said that it's such a powerful um, tool in Capture One to work that way. Because you can choose exactly the color that exists. So I hit here and you can see here it's 2018. It gives you the perfect hue, not only say it's blue color. It's the perfect hue, saturation and luminance value that you can manipulate with. So I want this dramatic. I'm just gonna take down luminance and um, my spots are strongly visible. I could have finished it later in Photoshop. I'm also going to desaturate uh, because when you take down the luminance, it looks really strongly saturated. We don't really want this. And also maybe I'm gonna change some hue. Uh, we can duplicate the effect by simply clicking this right once again and going even further. But um, do you want to have that 
that of a natural, unnatural effect. It's already unnatural, but it's still in uh, good taste, I believe. I can see more spots. I would do a step back and see if I can do something more. Indeed, I can do something more. Okay. Um, how about we change the spot? Can we repeat this? No, it will not be really um, possible. But how if we... I think it's better now. Okay, so let's go back to our advanced uh, color editor. We did nicely with the blue color. It's a really strong effect now. Uh, we have some spots over here, which is not really nice, and it means... Uh, possibly I should have wait till later because the spots, you see the spots always um, ruin your blood. Um, but um, there was the ways we can fix it later in Photoshop. I'm not going to waste your time for it right now. But maybe clean the spots at the very end. And uh, that's a good advice. As you can see, I'm not always doing the right decisions. And also, what we can do here, we can choose the kind of green color, more like brownie color here. And let's make it more green. Let's make it darker as well, and a little bit more saturated. But look what we did here. It's um, not, not as pleasant as I would wish. So this one will be brighter and also maybe less saturated and also a little more red because this is the color that will match nicely to the sky. I think we did a pretty good job. I'm really quite surprised of the outcome, not only happy with the outcome of the sky. Um, but yeah, as you can see, a few simple steps uh, how we did that. Uh, we can also use some clarity. But what I would do here, I would open local adjustment. I would hit this plus to create new um, adjustment layer, I'll call this clarity. I, I'm, I'm hoping we can do this that way. And then I'm gonna draw a mask. And I'm gonna draw a mask where this um, mountain is, this hill is a little over here. Because I think we got some steam around here, so the mountain wasn't really that sharp. And I think also what I would let myself to do is the sky. Let's see if it's gonna work for us, if we're gonna add clarity, and it does work. You can see um, it gives us a really nice effect, maybe more structure as well. And I think this is the image that would make me satisfied. I could go more extreme, of course, on this layer or other layer or the background layer with um, the effect over here. Let's see. So that would be all up to you, uh, how strong effect uh, you want to achieve. So this is the first image. I don't want to uh, give up on you with the first image. I would jump into next one and this one, let's do quicker. Let's do this uh, fast edit because this image is very similar in nature. Ah, oh, let's make it very dark. Let's desaturate this. That's what I like. That's what I really like. Not sure about the cyan, but I think it's suit. And um, you need to keep in mind that I'm actually, what I do here, I'm showing me how I see this image. I'm not saying you have to darken the sky on every of your image. This is my style of how I like to do. Uh, what I'm gonna do with here in here, of course, I'm gonna turn this uh, green in more red color. Why I'm doing this also, like I, uh, I understand I'm taking away the natural look. Uh, the key is the yellow color, orange color looks great with the blue color. 
And there's only one reason why I'm doing this, because I like to take care of the visual side a lot. Um, now I'm going to try to remove the spots. If you have Photoshop, it's really better to remove the spots in Photoshop, but by the fact I'm making tutorial on the capture one, um, that's the approach I took here. Uh, so quick edit image looks straight away uh, very dramatic. I think we can um, take care of this image as the last one. Um, let's improve the shadows. Let's take down the highlights. And I have a really great idea for this one as a super dramatic image. Not so much contrast. I think contrast might actually bring back what's bad on this image. I really want to make it dark. So, well, it's, as you can see, it doesn't work that way. So let's go back. Let's go back. Um, I will have idea. Let, let's do the greens or yellows in that way as it is. I can make it even brighter. Uh, we can add some saturation and we can make the change the hue to more yellows and maybe not too much, but just something around that. And then I'm gonna create new layer and paint over the sky. I hope it will look natural. There you are. And go back to color editor. Let's select the color blue. And now, perfect. We got the nice selection just on this, uh, just in this area. Let's desaturate this. And I think it's maybe not dark enough. We could create another blue color selection, but really careful because it might give you this uh, lo-fi effect. You don't want this on this. And I think this image is dramatic enough. Um, what we could do, but we might be forced to create new layer, but I will try to add some clarity. I think it works. Clarity, more structure to make this image uh, really dramatic. So this would be the outcome. As you can see, just three images, quick edits, um, believing they are matching to each other. And I think I'm also going to match the hue better here. So that's how I process the images in Capture One for very quick edits. You can expect more videos soon, hopefully. And as I said, much more images on photography, landscape photography, city photography, many, many new things coming. So if you first here, just, just subscribe and I give you more videos.